Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a nice little application called Intercom, which allows you to talk between your computer, your PCs, in your home or in your uh, small office, uh, anything that's behind the router uh, that ties you to the internet. So it would be uh, anything, uh, anything that ties into your router. Uh, going out to the street. So um, it's a it's not the prettiest looking thing in the world uh, but it's a great little application. Uh, it's been working for us for a couple months now without any problems. Uh, that is as long as it's uh, it's turned on on the PCs that you're using with it. So uh, I'm going to close this right now and I'm going to show you where we go to get this. Uh, we want to go to softpedia.com uh, and do a search under intercom or you can do a Google search uh, for intercom uh, LAN or local area network. Just do a, an intercom LAN, L-A-N search and this should be one of the first ones that come up. You can also download it from Brothersoft but uh, I've had issues with Brothersoft installing extra software on my computer that I don't like. So uh, Softpedia is actually pretty good. So here we go. Uh, just click on the download button right here. It's going to take you another to another page which has a mirror on it. Uh, you click on the mirror and you'll see your download is starting. And here it is down here. Uh, Intercom has been downloaded. Now I have things going to my download folder you'll see that this is a zip file uh, so we do need to unzip it if you do not have an unzip utility or a zip zip utility on your PC you can get one here uh, pzip is what I've been using for years and it's great and it's free uh, you can download it from SourceForge um, another thing you're going to need to use this application is .NET 1.1 running on your PC. Um, we'll check for that in a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but if not, if you don't have it on your PC, it's kind of a hit or miss whether you will. Um, you can download it for free from Microsoft. And here's just do a quick Google search under .NET 1.1, and that should bring it up for you. Okay, so uh, we've got this downloaded. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Uh, and we can see it right here. I'm going to right click and go to pzip and extract here in new folder. And soon we should see a new folder pop up. And there it is. Okay, so we've got our zipped file here. Uh, we've got our uh, our folder, if we open that up, this has all the files in it that we need to run this application. Now, I'm going to back up here. Uh, what I would do is take this, oops, take this and right click and you can either cut or copy. Uh, we'll just copy right now. And I would put it directly into your C drive. That's the easiest place to do it. Now, I've already done that. Uh, so I'm just going to go right to there. Uh, as you can see right here, C Intercom is the name of the file that I've got it in. And here's all the, all the files it came with. The first thing you want to do is click on this one here, netcheck.exe. And this is going to check to make sure that you have that .NET uh, program on your computer. And it says OK, .NET version 1.1 is installed. OK, so I'm good. Uh, it's actually about, about half of the computers that I've put this on have it. The other half don't. It's an older version of .NET. Um, but uh, it, this application needs it in order to run. So like I say, if you don't have it, you can go to uh, Microsoft and download it for free and install it. Uh, so I'm going to click OK. We're good there. The next thing we want to do is come to config.exe and I'm going to double click that. Now what this does is it actually builds this file here for you. I've actually got it in here so I'm not going to do it but I'm going to explain it. Um, this uh, this will uh, 
just just keep this port number at 3000 uh, chances are you're not going to have a conflict with that um, but you click OK and it's going to create this file here for you and I'll show you exactly what that is uh, you know click OK and 10 seconds later uh, this box will go away and you'll see this in here so I'm going to close that right now since I already have it on here and I'm going to right click this and open with notepad so we can see what's in there okay so uh, we've got our different uh, computers we've got five computers in the house um, and it shows you uh, th these are just the settings for the different computers uh, so that the intercom can talk to them correctly okay so I'm going to close that uh, once we have that set up let's see yeah, let's downsize that Okay, once we have that set up, uh, this is the actual application right here. Um, and we should be ready to go at this point. Now the only other thing, you're going to have uh, your firewall uh, program is going to say, hey, you know, you got you to gotta, uh, approve this. So when I double click, we're going to see Windows Firewall come up here. Um, and here it is, sure enough. Um, you want to allow private networks. Uh, you don't want to allow public networks. There's no reason why it should need to go anything outside of your house or business. And we're going to click allow access. And now that's saved. So you should never have to do that again. I actually removed that from my firewall so that we could do this uh, for this video. Um, so now you've got your intercom application running. I'm going to close this. Uh, you know what? No, no, I'm, going to, I'm going to keep that open for a minute. Uh, okay, so here's our intercom. Now we can click on S here. And this will select which of the computers you want to talk to. If I wanted to talk to, uh, let's, let's say I wanted to, this is our laptop here. Uh, I'm going to click select here. Um, and now when I press the button, I'm going to be talking to the laptop upstairs. Um, now you can also click on this button here uh, or click click the L and that means that this button is going to be pressed all the time. You'll see this turn red. This button will be pressed all the time until you uh, click that again and change it back to, back to black. So right now we're not live. Uh, if I press this button I would be talking to the laptop and I'm just not going to do that right now because there's no point. All right, uh, so let's see here. Went through that, went through that. Oh, the other thing, uh, you want these, you want this application to show up, uh, to, to start up as soon as you boot up your computer. Um, to do that, you go here, all programs, and you want to go down to, um, where is it? Uh, startup right here this folder um, and we what we could do is just open up uh, our intercom our intercom folder leave that open and let's go back to all programs and start up and we could click and drag our application into here um, you can see it's already in there. So every time this PC starts up, this intercom application is going to start up with it so that uh, I don't even have to think about it anymore. Um, it'll always be running and that way if someone tries to intercom me, uh, it, it'll always be there and ready to go. So that's about it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I, I've been really enjoying this intercom uh, application. I was looking for a cheap intercom that I could buy from Amazon or something like that, and anything that that was any decent was going to be over over a hundred bucks, and it just wasn't in the budget at the moment. So uh, this has been working great, and it really fits the bill. So thanks for watching, and um, happy intercoming. And I hope you'll, uh, if you want, check out frugalberry.com. Lots of money-saving tips and ideas there for you. Uh, and have a great day.